Buckle up, Teddy. Hey, what's going on, everyone? For Wrestle Trivia, I'm your host, Kevin J. Callis. And you're watching Wrestling Jeopardy, the ultimate interactive show where you're the contestant. So grab a pen and paper and let's go to the board now and check out the categories you'll be quizzed on in this episode. Starting with Wrestling's Scariest Moments, followed by Underfakers. Next up, we have Halloween Havoc. And then Buried Alive. And last but certainly not least, you're about to enter a world close to parts unknown. Oh, smell it, warriors. Now, this is our special Halloween episode, and to be quite honest with you, I'm feeling a little bit underdressed. So, um, give me one second, okay? Yeah, freak out. Now I feel a lot better dressed like this, if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, I look like the cream of the crop. Nobody does it better. So let's kick things off with the 200 point job around, the easiest round in wrestling jeopardy. <clears throat> uh, there's no chance I'm gonna do a Macho Man impersonation this entire episode. Prima Donna! I'll stick with the costume and let's start the game, okay? Wow, man, freak out! Now, with this first category, I sent out a uh, community post a couple weeks back asking you to give me your scariest moments, and I really appreciate your responses. So the first clue from the Jabber Round, as suggested by at DragonQuicks21 and at PhilGoad5587, fans tuning into WWF superstars shrieked in horror when Jake Roberts' King Cobra bit the arm of this wrestler. And that would be none other than, of course, my costume, the Macho Man, Randy Savage. All right, let's move on to the second clue of the job around. Name this, Underfaker. That's pretty easy, right? The correct answer, who is Shinsuke Nakamura? And that brings us to Halloween Havoc for 200. Halloween Havoc was originally produced as an annual pay-per-view event by this wrestling promotion from 1989 until 2000. And that would be what is World Championship Wrestling or WCW. <sighs> Moving on to Buried Alive. All five Buried Alive matches in WWE history have featured this superstar. And the correct answer here, who is the phenom, The Undertaker? He's alive! The Undertaker's alive! And here comes the last clue of the job around. Name this wrestler hailing from parts unknown. That's gotta be the correct answer, Kane. All right, hopefully you gave that job around the big elbow from the top rope. What was that? But things get a little bit more difficult as we head over to the 400 point round, starting off with this scariest moment as suggested by at Scott Decker, 9115, and at B Koopa 6464. Anyone who watched Monday Night Raw on November 4th, 1996, feared for Steve Austin's life after this wrestler pulled a gun on the Texas Rattlesnake. And that would be the loose cannon himself, the late, great Brian Pillman. This is ridiculous. Pillman's got this. Um, what the? And we're on to Underfakers for 400. Name this Underfaker. And that would be the wrestler who gave The Undertaker his final match ever, the Boneyard match in WrestleMania 36, who is AJ Styles. Moving on to Halloween Havoc for 400, this wrestler hosted the NXT version of Halloween Havoc in 2020, 2022, and 2023. And that would be the wild and crazy who is Shotzi Blackheart. Here comes the 400 point clue from Buried Alive. 
At In Your House Rock Bottom in December 1998, the dead man took on this wrestler in the macabre match. And the correct answer here, who is the aforementioned Stone Cold Steve Austin? And let's close out the 400-point round by having you name this tag team hailing from parts unknown. And that would be Axe and Smash, who are Demolition. Here comes the Axe, and here comes the Smasher. All right, 10 questions down, 15 to go, plus Final Jeopardy and the Daily Double still to come. But let's kick off the 600-point round with a clue from Scariest Moments, as suggested by at Kraken Lacken 502 and at Asian Sign Guy Cena. This voodoo master unleashed several supernatural spells that forced Ultimate Warrior to mysteriously double over in pain and excrete an ominous black liquid from his skull. Pimpin' ain't easy, and neither is being a master of voodoo and black magic. The correct answer, who is Papa Shango? All right, we're on to the second 600-point clue. Name this underfaker. And that is the charismatic enigma, who is Jeff Hardy. And that brings us to the 600-point clue from Halloween Havoc. <laughs> No, it's not. It's the Daily Double in the category of Halloween Havoc. Think about this crazy, spooky, scary event over the years and place your wager now. All right, time is up. Here is the Daily Double clue. This was the special stipulation in the spin the wheel, make the deal match between Cactus Jack and Vader at Halloween Havoc 1993. And the correct answer for this episode's Daily Double is, what is a Texas death match? And that brings us to Buried Alive for 600. WWE chairman Mr. McMahon was forced to face The Undertaker in a Buried Alive match at this 2003 pay-per-view. And that would be, what is the Survivor Series? And let's close out the 600-point round by having you name this wrestler hailing from parts unknown. This guy looks like he's about to explode and have just steroid juice flop everywhere. The correct answer. Who is the warlord? I don't care if it's Hulk Hogan. Please. The ultimate warrior. Uh. Jim the Anvil Needhart. Oh. I'm just going to destroy anybody. <laughs> All right, here comes the 800 point round. Kicking things off with scariest moments as suggested by at Jason Lee 3759 and at Scott Harm 3932. Internationally known as the Madman from the Sudan, this 400-pounder terrorized opponents, officials, and fans across the globe for more than half a century. And the answer, who is Abdullah the Butcher? Think about what he's experiencing. He's getting cooked, and I think he's well done, guys. All right, here comes another clue from Underfakers for 800. Name this Underfaker. The correct answer, who is Liv Morgan? All right, moving on to Halloween Havoc for 800. The final Halloween Havoc main event under the WCW banner saw Goldberg squash this tag team in a no disqualification handicap elimination match. This match was over in less than four minutes. The correct answer, Chronic, the team of Brian Adams and Brian Clark. And we're on to Buried Alive for 800. 
The only tag team buried alive match featured the unholy alliance of The Undertaker and The Big Show versus this tag team. And it happened on an episode of SmackDown. The correct answer, who are the Rock and Sock Connection? And here comes the final clue from the 800-point round. Name this wrestler hailing from parts unknown. When he first came to the WWF, he was called the Viking and then eventually changed his name to the Berserker. Hus! 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 All right, and it's time for the main event. If you think you're a diehard wrestling fan, this round is designed to put your knowledge to the test. So don't be scurred. Let's kick things off with the thousand point clue from Scariest Moments as suggested by the big dog SL. <laughs> At WWE's TLC 2020, Randy Orton set the fiend ablaze at the conclusion of this special stipulation match. And the correct answer here, what is a Firefly Inferno match? It's damn hot. I saw one of those guys in the orange robe burst into flame. Is that hot? You know what I'm talking about. And here comes the final clue from Underfakers. Name this Underfaker. And that would be who is Zelina Vega? All right, let's close out Halloween Havoc for 1,000. After defeating this wrestler at the 1991 pay per view Spooktacular, the WCW Phantom was revealed to be Ravishing Rick Rude. And the Phantom defeated the Z-Man, who was Tom Zenk. That's what I thought. Vicious knee to the midsection. Look at another look, that's a big man right there. That's no small man, that's a big man. All right, two questions left. This wrestler debuted after the inaugural Buried Alive match, hitting The Undertaker with a shovel and burying him with the help of Mankind and several other wrestlers. And this was done as a favor to Michael P.S. Hayes by hiring his former Fabulous Freebird tag team partner under a mask, who was Terry Bam Bam Gordy, AKA The Executioner. All right, and the last clue on the board from the regular Jeopardy round. Name this wrestler hailing from parts unknown. Oh yeah, this is not a good look, but the correct answer, who is Battle Cat? I mean, this guy needed like He-Man next to him. That could have been a good tag team, you know? All right, don't go anywhere. It's Final Jeopardy time on this special Halloween-themed episode. Let's find out what the category is. The Brood. You remember that scary, gothic, vampire-like trio from the Attitude Era? Well, hopefully your score wasn't a, uh, a bloodbath by any means. Anyway, place your wager now. All right, time is up. Here comes the final Jeopardy clue. The Brood's WWE entrance theme contains this secret subliminal lyric when played backwards. Good luck. In a nod to Paul McCartney of the Beatles, then in-house WWE composer, the great Jim Johnston inserted subliminal backwards lyrics into the opening of the Brood's entrance theme that said, I buried Paul. And that does it for this episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. Thanks so much for watching. And also thank you to these folks who are official 
Wrestle Trivia Fan Club members, and you can be too by joining. Check out the link below in the description. And don't forget to leave a comment with your score and like, share, and subscribe. I've been your host, the Macho Man, Kevin J. Callis. Yeah. And I'll see you next time.